on the veil. I'm gonna go through a carpool like this. Yeah. <laughs> what are you wearing? Like, <laughs> Look what I found, honey. I mean, it's beauty. You look fantastic. How are you? Wow. Makes but me, it's our, why? I, d does this remind you of our wedding yeah, and this... the magic that we created in this marriage? We told the first part of our engagement story yesterday. Which involved and a little rabbit poop about this big <laughs> landed on the carpet of Blockbuster right in between my two feet. Okay, you're back. Are you grossed out? Okay. So um, after that, I agreed to marry him. <laughs> So, and somebody had asked to share the engagement story. It's not as spectacular as pooping in a blockbuster, no. but. I went to Atlanta to get a ring. Drove from Florida to Atlanta. I told you I was going to do like a shoot, and then I drove to Atlanta and I drove back. I spent 15 minutes in the ring store and 12 hours driving. And then I had to go on a um, shoot for Home and Garden Television, so I had to bring the ring with me to the airport and to the hotel. Which now you guys know Penn and you know that he is a little forgetful. Yeah. So now that I hear this, I, it gives me the sweats knowing that you traveled with it. Oh, but that's all I could think about. I had, there, there were, I was working with three other women who knew the story and they all took turns um, like Aww. being the, the caretaker of the ring because when I had to leave the hotel, they were like, give me the ring. And they would like hold on to it. Aww. Yeah. We were meeting in New York for the weekend because I had just got, got a job offer in New York City. So I got a job at Inside Edition as a correspondent. Yes. Yes. A lot of makeup. I was moving to in, uh, to New York City, and I was like, um, "You can come if you'd like to, but I'm I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya." I think that you had this feeling like, "Okay, you, like I hope something happens because I'm leaving." Yeah. Meanwhile, I had been planning this for several months Aww. before you got the job offer. I already had the ring. Just I so didn't you know. know that. Just, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had the ring. Way I before. thought you were just trying to like. Lock it down. No, no. He decided to go to Central Park because we had made a trip to New York City uh -huh. early in our relationship. Yep. And there was a really special kind of moment we had on this like boulder. We were sitting there and had yeah. this like really special moment. And so he decided he would go back to New York City to where the rock was, the boulder. Yeah, like I'll York. just go back to the rock in Central Park. The there's, rock there's in Central There's like Park. one rock in Central Park. That's how I remembered it. If you've never been to Central Park, there are 90,000 boulders. Yeah, I got so I like, I got to the park, we were holding hands, and I looked out and there were a billion rocks. And, and I all I knew, sweating. like, because I wasn't like, I, I was like, oh, we're going on a walk, we're so cute. And like his hand, I was like, babe, like, what is going on? It was yeah. like, there was like water squirting from his palms. He was so sweaty. So we get to yeah. a rock. Yeah, I found a rock. A rock. And he's being really, quiet, which is very abnormal for Ben. <laughs> and I'm like, so I'm gonna move to New York City and, and I don't know where I'm gonna live. You're doing a lot of that. I just remember, cause I, I remember at some point, I'm like, oh my gosh, I think he's gonna propose. I'm, I remember exactly, like I, I practiced it like several times. I think I probably could remember it like word for word. What let's it say, was. let's hear it. Like, I mm. love you very much. And um, like, I'm glad you're going to New York. And um, I, don't want to be away from you, ever. And then I got him married. Me. And then. And then I said. <laughs> and he kind of mumbled. Well, I was cry. I was like, I had a lump in my throat. I know. And, and you didn't never said yes. Yes, I did. You nodded your head and started crying. Well, today, eleven and a half years later, yes, I will marry you. We were kissing and we hear clapping, and. Yeah, Kim's like, oh, is this on TV? Is this streaming live? Yeah. No, it was before. Um, it was a um, it was live gentleman <laughs> who uh, had been sleeping and staying there. He, he probably lived in Central Park. Yeah, um, and he had the biggest grin. Like He, he woke up from yeah, his yeah, nap. little nap. And, and started clapping for us, and it was so sweet. Like, he was, was the witness. Really sweet. He's the guy who saw it. Yeah, And um, so thanks to you. Yeah. This anyway, sweet. yeah, so then we got married. And had some babies. Babies. <laughs> some And you still have the veil. Is that a normal thing? Yes, I okay. have the dress, but it's like in this like hyperbaric chamber box that I don't know why. Yeah, I should like make pillows out of the dress or something. Because... No, that's not weird at all. Well, honey, it's just I will never be that size yeah. ever again. <laughs> 
Anyway, so uh, anyone have like a cool engagement story or? Well, oh, I feel like nowadays they have like choreographers yeah. and fireworks and, and like Facebook Live flash mob. Yeah. Things. We didn't so have ours that. was very quiet and sweet. Yeah, but it just worked. like our marriage, <laughs> quiet and sweet. It worked, and I'm very glad that it worked. And on this anniversary, it's not an anniversary. Um, uh, I love you. <laughs> I just farted. Ah. <laughs> Farted on the veil, because <laughs> I'm kind of sitting on it too. Farted on your veil. We're not going to use that part. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I love it. And I'm going to wear it all day. On the veil. I'm going to go through a carpool like this. Yeah. See what the kids say. Yeah.